with the caps in place and the legs properly insulated, we will we will solder the tone pot side before we put the assembly into the guitar. Again, let's point out here, we've got a nice fillet of solder around the terminal lug and the leg of the capacitor without having an abundance, overabundance of solder running up the leg, overheating the pot, potentially causing damage, and just looking messy and wasting solder. Let's review. Solder joins have a nice fillet between the terminal and the wire. Excess solder running down the legs of the potentiometer has been avoided. We've got a very good penetration of solder on the braided shield without having big bubblegum buildup on the back of the pot. The lead dress is very consistent from one to the next. The capacitor legs are in no danger of ever shorting. It's pretty much impossible for them unless the guitar gets given the Pete Townsend treatment. And uh, the bus wire is intact as it is on a majority of Gibson Les Pauls throughout the year ground bus wire is in place, solder joints are solid, caps are as they ought to be, short shaft CTS pots, excess cable has been removed, just no need for it. And this R9 is ready to rock and roll the way Gibson intended in 1959.